Unknown Country by Harold Edward Munro. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Here in this other world they come and go with easy, dreamlike movements to and fro. They stare through lovely eyes, yet do not seek an answering gaze or that a man should speak had i a load of gold and should i come bribing their friendship and to buy a home they would stare harder and would slightly frown i am a stranger from the distant town oh with what patience i have tried to win the favour of the hostess of the inn have i not offered toast on frothing toast looking toward the melancholy host praised the old wall-eyed mare to please the groom laughed to the laughing maid and fetched her broom stood in the background not to interfere when the cool ancients frolicked at their beer talked only in my turn and made no claim for recognition or by voice or name content to listen and to watch the blue or grey of eyes or what good hands can do sun-freckled lads who at the dusk of day stroll through the village with a scent of hay clinging about you from the windy hill why do you keep your secret from me still you loiter at the corner of the street i in the distance silently entreat i know too well i'm city soiled but then so are today ten million other men my heart is true i've neither will nor charms to lure away your maidens from your arms trust me a little must i always stand lonely a stranger from an unknown land there is a riddle here though i'm more wise than you i cannot read your simple eyes i find the meaning of their gentle look more difficult than any learned book i pass perhaps a moment you may chaff my walk and so dismiss me with a laugh i come you all most grave and most polite stand silent first then wish me calm Good night. When I go back to town, someone will say, I think that stranger must have gone away. And surely, someone else will then reply. Meanwhile, within the dark of London, I shall, with my forehead resting on my hand, not cease remembering your distant land, endeavoring to reconstruct aright how some treed hill has looked in evening light or be imagining the blue of skies now as in heaven now as in your eyes or in my mind confusing looks or words of yours with dawn light or the song of birds not able to resist not even keep myself from hovering near you in my sleep you still as callous to my thought and me as flowers to the purpose of the bee. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.